Here's a quick video I'm wanting to make about some products that I'm trying to use to enhance my production value. And I'm looking off to the side a little bit. I'm going to see how well this navigates. You're getting uh, the view from this screen on the Insta360 Link 2. But as you can see in my, in my home, my studio office here, the Link 2 likes to follow you around. So if I move over here, it will move it will move and then I'm trying to use a screen but the darn thing moves and so you can see you know the piece right here in this in this in this corner um, that's messing up my chi right um, but there were some issues with syncing the audio as well and one of the problems that I'm trying to figure out is now there's a preview of the InstaLink 360 control software and if you use, if you don't set up to use the virtual camera, like, and the preview is on, that's likely causing a delay. So then you have to turn your preview off. And then it doesn't say that it's AI tracking. So now it's not AI tracking. You, everybody saw it was just tracking me. And... So now if I make sure that it is off and minimize it, now can I move the device? Okay, now will it stay put? It's like it's the it's the frustrations. Like this is an this is an amazing camera, but it's it's causing a lot of issues because I guess it's just me trying to get used to it. I mean it, the audio is great, um the, the picture quality is great. Um, I'm trying to record in 4K. Hopefully, the audio and my video is synced up right now. I'm not really sure. So you have to use the virtual camera. Insta360 Link 2 and the Insta360 Virtual Camera. Um, so it's a work in progress here and trying to figure out what are the correct settings to really get good playback and, and good video and good content. I'm also, it's honestly a little easier to record with the Droid OBS cam. So hopefully all of this is working well. So it's a little bit more frustrating than I originally thought it was going to be. Um, bear with me guys. I'll make sure I get all of this uh, figured out and uh, onward and upward. All right, thank you much for stopping by. If you have questions, concerns about this camera, I didn't do a full review. I didn't give my pros and cons. This is just my current headache trying to set things up. You can use it with OBS, but according to the manufacturer, you still have to use that other software to control zoom and hand motions and whether or not it does the tracking. So that's that's concerning. I, I would like it that you didn't have to use their proprietary software, but as of right now, unfortunately you do. So, okay, with that, um, happy content creating. God bless.